I think the first mission of this council is to implement the decisions and resolutions adapted in the last PP14. And maybe the second mission, uh, maybe the second role of this council is providing an opportunity to member states, council member states, and the ITU management team to engage and discuss important issues which have been submitted to the ITU council. And we also have a kind of law, this council also have a kind of law to send a message to the global community what kind of law ITU will take after its 150th anniversary. We have done a lot of things for the last 150 years, but this is a great opportunity to show the global community what will be the mission of ITU for the next 150 years. In the last PP, we spent a lot of time to discuss the strategic plan and financial plan. And finally, we could made, make a consensus on the four-year strategic and financial plans. The role of this council is to translate that strategic plan into operational plans of the ITU, and at the same time, to set up the biennium budget of ITU for 2016 and 2017 based on the financial plan we approved in the PP14. Member states have submitted a lot of proposals. There are proposals on ITU headquarter premise, and there are proposals, the guideline on MOUs with financial and strategic implications. And we also have to address the new topics such as empowering young people through ICT and how to support the SME, small and medium-sized enterprises, using ICT technologies. So there are so many issues in front of us, but I do believe that with the spirit demonstrated in the last PP, we can deliver very positive outcomes through this council. ITU has done a wonderful job for the last 150 years to connect the world. And all ITU family should be proud of what we have achieved for the last 150 years. But still, more than half of the global people are not connected to the broadband. So there are things we should do more for the next 150 years. And this is time for us to open a new chapter. This new chapter will give a fair chance and better chance to the whole global community to take advantage of this ICT technology for better life. I hope that IT can make an even bigger contribution to the global community for the next 150 years.